Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special series of Board Off. I'm Ken Levitsky. And I'm Chris Fedek. And today, we're going to be talking about one of these five games from Channelcraft, made in the USA. Really cool little home-style games. And, uh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's do it. We're back again for another Board Off X Channel Craft. We're back for a third Channel Craft game. Very exciting. Today is the Notting game. Attention Geek Pantsers. This is Ken from an alternate timeline. Coming in to tell you that the Ken from your timeline is a complete idiot. He'll spend this entire episode calling the game the Notting game. He is wrong. That is not the name of the game. The game is called the Not tying game campers challenge all right we got it your ken's an idiot i'm not okay good luck master the art of not tying i tried to say yet another and i said not because i was reading the box at the same time <laughs> not another <laughs> yet another great game by channel craft um <laughs> and compact it, it, this is really compact this one 52 card poker deck inside. This brings me back to my days of being a boy scout. We learned all about knots. And I have lost all that knowledge. <laughs> Let's see if you remember any of this. <laughs> so Chris, what are we getting here? We're getting a couple wooden sticks. Once again, handcrafted wood products. Very cool. Yeah, and none of the uh, cheap, like, someone glued wood chips together and make particle board first. This is yep. solid wood. We have uh, this nice little shoelace type rope. For tying some knots. I believe they actually want you to cut this in half. For one of the games. Yeah, yeah. but today in this instinct, we're not going to cut this in half. We're going to keep it intact. So this is what you get. You get one long string, a couple of those, and a card deck. Channelcraft, not in game card deck. The Camper's Challenge. This would be fun. This would be fun bringing camping. So, yeah. I totally agree. Now when you pop open the deck, you get the explanation of the game. I thought it was instructions for a second, but... Oh, no, there it is. How to play. Their second card into the deck is how to play. And then you get all the cards which have different knots you have to tie. Once again, great artwork. Don't know who the artist for Channelcraft is um, or the graphic designer, but great work. I think I know who the graphic designer is. If it is who I'm thinking work the history of knot tying that's cool it's great because each card gives you a knot to tie tells you how to tie it and then gives you a history on that knot oh, nice. like i like that about the, these games these channel craft games is there's there's history and i mean look at you you're tying a knot you don't have a card what knot is this <laughs> are you making a little cross you're not going to bury me alive are you uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey there's hesitation there depends on if i lose or not Oh, okay. You're, you're definitely going to win. Lashing. Look at that. <laughs> Look what Chris did. He's already winning and we haven't even started. That's actually really tight. Yeah. yeah I've, uh, I've used that to tie stuff together and done push-ups. Like, it's <laughs> like chin-ups on it and not have it slide. So it's, it's actually a pretty solid knot. But That's cool. This one's not tied very tightly, <clears throat> but... Yes. Okay. Do you want to read this one today? Your knot tying game contains knots for your specific camping needs. Additionally, there are other essential knots included that everyone should know how to tie. Some are basic, some complicated, some are simply attractive and interesting. So we got some eye candy knots too. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> but all add to your ability to tie a better knot. Being able to tie the right knot correctly is vital in many outdoor activities. Knot tying is technically easy, however, you cannot master the art unless you are willing to practice. And practice eight hours a day every day like Kung Fu Masters. Ah. Only then will you gain speed and achieve the uniformity that is needed. That I, I like how that sentence fit in perfectly with my Kung Fu Master thing I made up. <laughs> I know, I was actually sort of thinking, did it really say <laughs> Wait, Kung Fu Masters in there? Or was that in there? <laughs> Use care and patience in forming your knots as they are being tightened. 
the time to practice is at home before you need to use the knot in a live situation. So basically practice these before you play against your friends. <laughs> You only need to master a few of these knots to meet most of your immediate needs. In addition to tying good knots, you must also check your line for fraying, stiffness and brittleness. It's probably not going to be a problem with this because it looks like a paracord. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to have to worry about brittleness here. Yeah. yeah. If any of these are found, you must cut off the defective parts or replace the entire line. Yeah, and it's paracord is unlikely to, to have that kind of issue, but yeah, if you're using regular string or... Uh, like hemp rope. Hemp rope's really bad for that. Mm -hmm. This knot tying game deck is numbered like a standard set of playing cards. It is also ideal for practice knot tying alone or with a friend. Once you have a basic understanding of knots and how they work, play the knot tying game as a challenge to yourself. <laughs> Do not, not only will you learn to secure your boat, hang a lantern at your campsite and tie a better fishing knot, but you will find something else in the art of knot tying. The simple pleasure of tying a perfectly formed knot. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Oops. Oh, that was way off him. <laughs> that, that, I, I was aiming at was the going. camera there. Uh, that was a nice card too. Now it's got dancing corners <laughs> for us. Jeez. How to play. Boom. I'll read this one out. The knot tying game is ideal for two players. Hey, there's two of us. But any Straight number can flush. play. Hey, nice job. Use your own rope and any number of household items for tying posts, such as pens, pencils, chair rungs, etc. Cut the rope into equal lengths for two players. As I said, we're not going to do that today. Each player selects one length of tying rope and one tying post. Decide who goes first. Number two. Remove all aces, deuces, jokers, and extra cards. Shuffle the remaining cards, three through kings and place them face down in the center. You getting that? Shuffler man? I missed a part of that. Yeah. <laughs> Remove all aces, deuces, jokers, and extra cards. <laughs> Shuffle Wait, the remaining and cards. extra cards, you mean like the whole deck then? I think they mean like these kind of things. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Shuffle the remaining cards, three through kings, and then place them face down at the center. Number three. Player draws a card and shows it to all <laughs> players. There you go. Number four. The first player to correctly tie the knot throws his or her knot to the center and is given the knot tying card, which shows the point value. Three through ten points. Face cards are worth ten points. Four and four. There we are. I guess that's why you need two lengths. It's because we're supposed to challenge each other. Be tying at the same time. Yeah, to try and but I didn't bring a knife or scissors with me today. And I don't think I could chew I through this. I think I see why they told us to remove these two, because like this one's for seizing for uh, tying a loop at the end of a rope. Okay. Which needs two ropes, not one. Well, there you go. Uh, same with the whipping. The line bend, so you need like two ropes for those. In the case of two players tying the knot at the same time, no player receives the card and is returned to the bottom of the deck. Six. If the knot requires two ropes, only the player that drew the card will attempt to tie the knot correctly and be able to receive the points. The next player draws a card and players race to the tie knot. Race to race to tie the knot. I read the before tie. Continue until all cards are used. Add up all the points. The player with the most points wins the game. Everyone wins for gaining knot tying knowledge. <laughs> Yours was better. It went in the opposite direction, but yours was way better. Look at this cool card, too. A list of all the games that Channel Craft offers. All made in the USA. Okay, so... This actually has the square lashing <laughs> that I tied for that. So... Nice. I like that, though. That one actually hit. That, that one hit, yeah. The camera's all off now. Let's just make sure we know where those landed. Right. Yeah, they're all over the place. We'll, we'll be good. We'll find them. Okay, so these are all out now. Yeah. Then. Yeah, the aces have kind of extra stuff. There's a history of not making rope storage, how to tie it properly so you don't have it loosen up and go all gross. Parts of a rope anatomy, knot strength. There's a few knots that tells you how strong it is compared to the original rope. Cool. So yeah, that's very nice extra information. That's yeah. very useful. Oh, that's really neat. You ready? All right. You draw a card. 
Now, we, we're supposed to draw at the same time and tie at the same time, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just have fun. Yeah. Let's just try the game out. I'm going to laugh at you when you try to tie that, and you can laugh at me when I try to tie whatever I'm going to get. Well, unfortunately for you... You know the bowline already. I know the bowline, so... Come on. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You shuffled this deck. You knew you were going to go first. So, you can tie a bowline. No problem. Bowline. Tied by forming overhand loop standing part of the rope then passing the end through the loop around the standing part and back through the loop this is the basic knot for tying a fixed loop which will not slip or jam mm -hmm. i've got the blood knot <laughs> which, That's... which needs two ropes used to tie two lines of any size together tied by crossing two lines and wrapping one working end around the other line five times and bringing the working end to the crossing as shown in image A. Image A. Well, you could try doing it with both ends of this. Yeah, I mean, I could try. I could try doing lots of things. Okay, so, so this is that. Okay, now we're gonna pretend this is the other rope. And this other rope is well, you can way. use both ends of this rope, maybe, to act as two ends. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the first one I get is a two rope one. Um, uh, we can try another one because that was yeah. a little bit difficult. Flood knot, flood knot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually pretty okay. difficult to do. If the rattling knot is another two row point. What the heck? <laughs> you <laughs> you say this up for me? Maybe I did. Here. Here. We can and use the peg to stand in. Clove hitch. There we go. There we go. One needs this. Need card. Need rope. Tied by passing two underhand loops over an object. This is a widely used holding knot, which can be tied very rapidly by throwing the loops as when a cowboy ties a calf. This is a very popular knot. I've heard of this knot many times. I probably tied it at one point in my life. All right, so it looks like they're tying and then they're putting that through. Is that correct? Not quite, no. No? <laughs> what are they doing? That okay. is one of the most useful knots you can learn, too. I've used it quite a bit for a lot of stuff. <laughs> so. Kind of looks like they're going like... That and then they're bringing this up. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going, this is going like this, and it's going like this. It's coming up through and around again. I don't think that's right. Let's see. Let me see here. I don't pretend to be a cowboy. <laughs> no, that's not even close. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. This is going through that, and then it's coming. Okay, so we're going. Well, I see they're showing a way to do it with just twisting the rope instead of tying it. Yeah, <laughs> this goes around, and it's coming like this, and then it's going over top of this, and then it's going around again, and it's going underneath here, my fat fingers won't cooperate, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Ah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I did it. I did it. It's such a simple and such a effective knot. Yeah, really useful. Especially if you have uh, extension cords, and you want to like tie to a like uh, a pole or something to yeah. just hang off of. I, it it yeah. amazes me. It always amazes me how many knots exist. Like yeah. enough to make a deck of cards. <laughs> uh, there's probably even more than, than here. Yeah, so. probably. The end loop. An excellent end loop for monofilament. Form a loop and wrap the end around the first loop twice, as shown, and then take the loop and pull through. Tighten carefully and trip. This knot holds well. Mm, that's good. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's go around the top. Goes under. Uh, 
second loop. Not very good for people trying to watch. At the end loop? Yeah. End loop. There it is, everyone. The end loop. The loop that ends all loops. Two half hitches tied by passing rope around an object, then making two underhand loops around its standing part. This is a basic holding knot used to secure a rope to an object. I like how I keep getting the ones that's like, this is a basic, this is popular. <laughs> like, if you don't know how to do this, you're an idiot. The cards are mocking you. <laughs> they are mocking me. We're going, we're going like this. Around this, and then once we're around, we're going, we're going under, and then over, and then we're going like this, and we're going under and over again, like so. And if that wasn't right at the end, it would have stayed on. It would have stayed on. <laughs> and I made it so tight. Get right through. Okay. Here we go. Yeah! Look at that! Yeah. Two half inches. I did it. I nailed it. In your <laughs> face, Chris Bennick. My self-esteem. <laughs> right. One more round? One more round, alright. One more round of the uh, notching game. Ah, the three of clubs. Oh, that looks pretty easy. The overhand knot, so that that's literally just a regular knot, like it, it's a knot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> <laughs> I win. Yeah, now you get the super complex one. Let's just draw another card. All right, what do I get? Round, round turn and two half hitches. We'll go <clears throat> round turn. Going around it twice? It's going around twice, right? Yeah, and then it's got the half hitch on it. It's like, it's through. Oh, I see. You got a rope. Yeah, I tied that too close to the. You got it, though. Yeah. That's it. Nailed so it. We try to uh, actually show that so the camera could see me. We've kind of been like going. <laughs> it's just like one, two. One, two. Buckle your shoe, three, four. Just loop. Uh, yeah, it's actually. Uh, you did. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm tying that one. I might have gotten lucky. So what'd you get? Uh, I don't have a pail, so <laughs> I don't have a pail. So I'm going to be practicing this one on one of these fantastic wooden sticks. The fisherman's bend, used to tie a line to a bucket or for lifting heavy objects, holds well and is easy to untie. Oops. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Ah, I'm going to find it. I'm going to get it. Ah, I'm back. Okay, so we're going. Here we go. Here we go. This is the handle of the bucket in this situation. All right, so we're going down. Then going around. And then we are going down. This rope. I have enough rope. Okay, so we're going like so we're going like this. Okay. So we're going all the way up here. We're gonna go around the rope. Come on down. So we're going under through and through. Alright. Do it, stay on. Yeah. 
Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Did it! Ooh, yeah! Now, do the monkey's fist. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The monkey's fist? Do we even have enough rope to do that? Maybe a small one? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to not do the monkey's fist. <laughs> Verdict? I like it. Uh, it's <laughs> it's actually really interesting. Very useful because uh, some of the instructions they're clear enough that you can figure it out. Yep. But not telling you directly. Just do this. I mean, you have to actually think about it, which I think actually helps you learn. Because if you can think about it more and it's harder, you yep. memorize it more than if you just you know YouTube video kind of. Thing. Yeah. No, I like that about this. Is um, it's probably not as fun as the last two we've played. But it teaches you. You're gonna have knowledge when you play this. Yeah. And it, you know what? Everyone could do a knot, like a plain Jane. This goes through that, <laughs> and this goes up through here. And hey, look at that! I made a knot. Yeah. Anyone can do that. But this won't get you far compared to most of these. Yeah. So it, it, it's good to know at least a few of these, like the bowline. Yeah. You know, the one you kicked it off with, lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> um. But this is really cool. This is really cool. Uh, when I was in Boy Scouts, I did a lot of knots like this. I had a lot of fun with it. And I think this is a great game for Boy Scouts and um, Girl Guides and anyone really. Just friends going camping in general. To bring along, to learn. Because you never know when you're going to need to learn a knot. Survival. Yeah. Right? Your plane goes down and you got a shoestring. Well, <laughs> you can make yourself a man harness. You could make yourself a man harness, or you could do a monkey's fist. It's a water rope. Actually, right tied there. one of those ones. Let's see if I can. Really? You're gonna attempt the monkey fist? Yeah. Let's find out. Okay. You you go ahead and attempt that monkey fist. Let's see if I can figure this out. Since I've actually tied one of these ones a long time ago, so let's see if I can remember how to do it. It's just a water rope. Pretty much. Uh... Is getting any inner loops to tie it tighter. Is this a monkey fist fail? There we are. Oh. I think I got. Ooh. Ah. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm actually pulling it out of its thing by accident. <laughs> Where is that loop? There's just. There it is. I actually think I pulled it out. <laughs> I pulled the fist out. Packaging on this game is a lot more simplistic than the last couple games we've played. Yeah. It's basically just a box, which includes another box that holds all the cards, a couple sticks, your rope, that's it. Um, no little like Easter egg type tips like we were saying before. Little, oh wow, look at that. Yeah, nothing. Uh, includes a not time core, two time post. Yeah. Yeah. The so, uh, explanations as to what all the ropes are for, um, it's, it's not as much like here's extra information as like the other games that had. Yeah. You got ages eight plus on this. I, I mean, I agree. There is some knots in here that are rel relatively easy, like beginner style knots that a kid that's eight could do. Oh, God. is that it? Did you have it? No, I. It's let loose. Oh, <laughs> the monkey's fist let loose. It turned out to be the cursed monkey paw instead of the monkey's <laughs> fist. Um, but yeah, no, I enjoy this game. I think it'd be very fun to bring camping or even just, you know, if you're going for a car ride, you just want to play around, learn some knots in the backseat. Boom. This is really cool for that. Um, That's what I forgot. But it is a game that teaches you. 
because of that, I feel like a lot of kids may not really like it, especially in this. I have to learn. Especially in this digital age, where like, <laughs> oh, well, I can just watch YouTube videos. Yeah. Well, you could, but that won't be fun. This is fun. This is cool. Bunch of young punks. Back in my day, we had to learn how to tie knots instead of using videos. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I recommend it. All days are coming up. If you know anyone in your family that is a camper or a hunter or, um, like I said, girl guides or boy scouts. If you know anyone that is into any of that, get them this. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. I mean, it's small enough to be a stocking stuffer. Like, I feel like this would be pretty cool to find, um, when you wake up for your presents. <laughs> Definitely better than getting a sock. Just right? the one mismatched. <laughs> just one single sock. Where, where's the other one? I'm wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Times are tough, kid. I'm got the, I got the other sock. <laughs> yeah, if you really want to play this properly, cut the rope in half and then uh, play with two players. Or just get two ropes. Or get two ropes. Grab another rope. Grab a shoelace. I mean, that'd probably be pretty easy with a long shoelace. Yeah. Art stores uh, usually have... Uh, paracord too you can always buy a loop of that and go you're determined to do the monkey face i think i got it this time i forgot to do the third loop is what i did wrong you have it i think i got it i just have to <laughs> cinch it down and that's it's just a big wad of rope <laughs> it is <laughs> I think I got it. So, for our channel craft people and our uh, viewers here, yep, you'll get to see this rope actually tied, possibly. <laughs> well, the video can't end until you make the monkey fist. Now you got everyone at home just going crazy, Chris, sitting Chris, on the edge of their Chris, seats. Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris, Chris. Now this is like uh, I have to go for old wrestling style. I drop like this, and you can yeah. do like the arm up, and I'll be like, oh. <laughs> Hulk Hogan style. <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the monkey fist comes after you? Goes wild on you, brother. <laughs> well, I, I, let, I left the monkey fist card out for you. It's right there. If I can just find to it. which loop to pull for this last piece, I might actually have it. There we go. Oh my god, this, this is nuts. I think I was supposed to tighten it in a different order so that it's No, if you easier. were to cut that in half, you wouldn't have had enough rope to make the monkey fist. I would not have known. So no, yeah, so it's... you're better off just grabbing another rope. Yeah, a second rope would be yeah, a good idea. Absolutely, because you need the length. What's this attached to? <laughs> What's this attached to? <laughs> well, that's the issue with this knot. Uh, is, yeah, you gotta find ends of the loops <laughs> and then figure out which ones like there's a lot of like making it look neat yeah as you go and that's the issue with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of a gross monkey knot but it's, it's kind of starting to go yeah and has a bit of senior shape to it oh yeah Problem is, there's just one spot that I can't find where to pull and tighten it. Yeah, I can't find the <laughs> I can't find the right spot to tighten it to get that tight. But otherwise, it's uh... you get an E for effort, Chris. You tried. You came. You saw. You didn't quite conquer, <laughs> but you tried. I tried to conquer. Trying isn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> there, yep. That side, this side goes underneath, so we want to go backward. Okay, you keep going, your monkey, your monkey fist. I'm going to do the closing credits. <laughs> yeah, otherwise we'll be here till the end of time. 
You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can find our other shows over on Apple Podcasts and SoundCloud. You can find this board off right here, exclusive to YouTube, where you can see our beautiful faces and the awesome games that we play. Thank you again, Shoutcraft, for letting us put this out there for our viewers. Everybody, go check them out. We're going to have the link down below for Shoutcraft. Um, it's definitely well worth the check out. It's... Yeah, definitely well worth it. Yeah. I mean, there's so much variety to their games. Like, so far, we've played three Shoutcraft games. All three are totally different. Completely. Yeah, there's like Completely no different. crossover. No. Uh, I mean, other than having a cool wooden... Yeah, except for the quality. <laughs> I feel like I do some devil sticks right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those. <laughs> you remember the devil sticks? Yeah. Do I have another stick in here? Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't. I, I, I... One more. Just one more stick. One more stick and I could put on a great show. You know when you're going like this and you flip it? <laughs> and come back down. Those tricks. Yeah. Devil stakes. Awesome. Thank you very much, everybody. We will be back. <laughs> we will be coming back. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how long the monkey fist is going to be going on. But we will be back next week for our fourth episode, our fourth Channel Craft sponsored episode of Board Off. Chris? Yeah, didn't say. Do you, do you want people to keep watching your? your <laughs> no. This, this show show a... them what you got so far, though. Yeah. It's literally just one loop left to touch. It's just a tie. blob of rope. Yeah. But it's in the shape of not a monkey's fist. <laughs> but, uh, Looks nothing like a monkey's fist. Just learn the monkey fist style. There we are. That's my problem. I didn't announce monkey fist style. Yeah. Start to nah. <laughs> all done like Naruto style kind of thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> alright everyone thank you very much we will see you next week adios